All right, everyone. Welcome back to the house. So this video is just going to be like another little update, just showing you some of the progress that we've made. Um, so we're in the living room. I'll start with the living room. I think the last video you saw was me plastering this wall. Um, so since that's happened, plaster's dried out. Um, my dad has whitewashed it, um, miscoated it, whatever you want to call it. It's just what you do with new plaster. Um, so he's done that for us. Uh, obviously, fireplace is still covered up. We have we have got the log burner installed, and we have been having it on because uh, obviously it's uh, it's becoming really cold now. But you're not going to see that yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, got a uh, little work in progress Christmas tree. It's a uh, it's one of those grow your own trees. So it's still got the uh, the root ball on the bottom. So the plan is to. Grow that if we can. Um, I don't know for the next few years. I don't know how quick they grow, um, but when it gets to a point where it's too big for the house, um, we'll plant it in the garden, and it can just hopefully have a long life in the garden. Um, but yeah, it's just something little that we thought we'd uh, we'd do. Some. Uh, oh. It's like a uh, something you can come back to every year. It's like it started off small, and uh, hopefully we'll get it to uh, like a six footer or something. Um, so that's that. Uh, I don't think I've shown the uh, the second fix electrics is is done now. We we are changed over to the new electrics. I'll show you the uh, the lights. So we've got. Um, Basically, my dad's done it so we can. Have, we only have to have so many on if we want. Um, I, I mean, it's quite. We both on it's really bright, especially on a night. It's like it's really, really lit up. Um, but you know, realistically, most of the time we don't actually need all these lights on. Um, it's only if we were having people round or. I don't know, just doing something where you needed a lot of light, then we'd have it all on. But for the for the most time, I think we just sort of have it just half of them on. So it's gone for like a half and half. So two on or two off, two on, two off, two on, and, uh, and so on. Because 12, 12 spotlights is uh, it's quite bright, but it is. Then again, it is it is quite a big room. So I mean, it's a million times better than those two stupid lamps that was. Uh, one was about there and the other was uh, I think about here somewhere. Um, I mean, when the, the night you changed it over, it was like <laughs> you needed sunglasses to come in here. It was that, that much of a difference. Um, so yeah, um, my dad's also, he, I mean, my dad, he's, he's absolute diamond. He's, he's helping us out so much. Um, you know, I'll, I'll never be able to repay him. Um, he's he's done these little bits like boarding the uh, above the um, the windows because I don't know if you remember but it was all cracked. I mean you can still see some of the remaining crack in here, uh, but all the plaster was coming off. It was it was knackered. So there's that to plaster. Um, I mean it's not like I'm not capable of doing these things. It's just he's he's sort of just trying to save me some time because there's so much to do. Um, so it's just basically it's just it's just another helping hand. Um, you know, I really really appreciate it. Um, in here has not really changed. This is sort of the this has become the dumping room now. Um, no doubt it'll have to get cleared out again soon. So we're not really doing anything in here. Uh, downstairs, obviously the the living room is the priority. Get this done. Get it decorated. Get the flooring in, and then we can we can obviously get the sofa in and everything. Um, so that's that. Uh, again, we've got uh, the outside lights. Obviously, it's daylight, so there. No, you've shown you those upstairs. Uh, he's just swapped over the old light for now. We, we have got two spots going in here, but this uh, this all needs plastering. But again, it's not a it's not a job 
that's urgent so it's just gonna it's just gonna wait for now i've uh, i've blue gritted it uh blue grit it's like a um it just basically helps the plaster stick because i think that's that is the reason why it come off um they've just plastered straight onto the concrete lintel and it's just it's just not took how it should have so it's it's all come off because this bit here is a uh, is plasterboard and that's concrete lintel so it's and you you get this crack in here because it's two different two different materials that expand and contract at a different rate uh, i could go on and on um and that's why that's cracked and then obviously when we did the floor for the uh secret room as i called it um that needed boarding but instead of just trying to skim that and then try and blend it in with that because it'd be a pain you know, i'm just going to skim the lot so that's that upstairs um I mean, this is what's probably really changed. Dad again, he's, he's whitewashed the uh, bathroom wall, the office wall. Um, yeah, I'll show you the uh, lights. I mean, this is, I mean, eight spotlights. Oh, no, sorry, six. My maths. <laughs> um, six spotlights. This room isn't it's a decent size, but yeah, it's really bright. Um, here's where the most of the uh, changes have, have happened uh, as you can see I've been doing the coving now this is um, this is real plaster coving it's not the jip rock stuff with like it's like the plasterboard coving this is proper plaster of Paris coving um, now I'm going to admit this stuff it's a real art um, I worked with a guy on a site and he did this and like whole new level of respect for whoever does this stuff because it is hard work to get it to blend in now it's the first time i've done it i mean i'm still on with filling it uh i've got to sort of here with the filling now from here on the camera you think oh, that's going to stand out like a sore thumb but it's, i think it's just because it's not being painted i mean i run my fingers over that and it's there's no I mean that it could do with a little bit of sand in there, but there's no sort of it just blends in. It's just because the uh, the adhesive that I used is a slightly different colour, um, so that's why it shows. I think once it's painted, it'll be fine. I mean, don't know if the camera will, will pick that up, but I think I've got it to blend in quite well. And same with the corners. I mean, the corners could probably do with a little bit of work. Um, Again, they're not. I think for the first time, I don't think I've done a bad job. I'm, I'm quite. I mean, I've said this before. I'm really self-critical of everything I do, but even I'm quite happy with uh, with how I've done this so far. It does take time. Um, anybody that's done it will know that the, uh, the this is the plaster that I used to fill fill the gaps, casting plaster. Um, it goes off in like five minutes so you've got to be really really quick but these things are an absolute lifesaver they're um the sanding sponges so you can sort of you can squeeze them and, and sort of bend them to um to the shape of the coving and you can really sort of file any imperfections out it's uh it's brilliant so that's that Uh, this is the room that we're trying to get done now because we're actually going to move in in about a week's time uh, the week before Christmas is when we're aiming to move in uh, the carpet is getting fitted on the 19th and the bed is getting delivered on the same day so the day after there's sort of no reason why we can't we can't move in so long as this room's done there's a there's nothing stopping us, so it's it's sort of all hands on deck with uh, with this room. I mean, it's, it's mostly decoration now. I've got a little bit of uh, more filling to do on the coving. Just go around it one more time. Just get it as good as I can get it. Um, obviously, it's not going to be perfect. 
like I said, it's a real art and it probably takes years to uh, to master it, but you know, for a first attempt, I don't think it's uh, it's too bad. I mean, you're also you're working along sort of like old walls, nothing straight. I mean, the reason this is in two pieces is because the wall bends that much. I put this bit of carving on and this, and the end here, it was stuck out sort of like that much. So I've had to sort of, I've had to cut it there to like break its back, but I'll hopefully sand it in and you won't be able to tell. Uh, I'll show you the lights in here as well. This is really bright as well. I think we're gonna go for uh, dimmers in here because it's, uh, it's quite bright. So we'll probably have them on dimmer switch and then we can sort of choose how bright we want it. But yeah, mostly decoration now. Just a little bit more standing to do on the walls. Uh, sand that one more time, prime it, and then it's, it's just good to go for painting. And then move in, which uh, I'm really looking forward to. And so is Holly. Um, I started doing the coving in here as well. So this is what it looks like. Obviously before it's filled, see there's quite a lot of gaps, but that's just because the ceiling's up and down, nothing you can do about it. Um, yeah. So that's where we are. Obviously still a lot of work to do, but the main, the main aim now is bedroom, dressing room, office, and then we'll move downstairs, finish the living room, work his way through to the dining room, and then back up here and finish this room. This is the last room. Either this room or the kitchen um, will be the last room to get done. I mean, the kitchen is just decorate. Take that, take the rest of the paneling off and then uh, decorate. And this room is, there's still a little bit of work to do in this cupboard. Um, I've got to sort of frame it out and everything. Uh, this is the uh, this is the plaster carving. So that's the uh, the profile of it. So yeah, it goes like that on the wall. It's quite a. It's not really intricate, but it's got a little bit of detail to it. It's, uh, it's nice. Um, Holly picked it, but I like it as well. It's, uh, it's about 16, 17 quid a length, so you've got to be careful that you don't make mistakes. I mean, to be fair, I've done quite well. Um, obviously, I've watched quite a lot of videos on uh, on how to do it, um, which I know is like a it's a sin, <laughs> um, but. I've said this before, if if you're doing it on your own house, I don't think there's anything wrong with watching a video on how to plaster, on how to put carving up, you know, how to fit, uh, I don't know, a door or whatever, um, because it's for your own house, you do what you want, you know, and I think there's a lot of, you get quite a good sense of pride and accomplishment, achievement, if you've done everything yourself, like that's, We've had nobody in to do any work, um, you, you know, between me, Holly, and my dad. We've we've done it all ourselves, um, which you know we're quite lucky, especially like obviously my dad's an electrician, so he's been able to do the rewire. Um, if if it had not been an electrician, obviously we'd have had to get somebody in to uh, to do the rewire for us. But, yeah, I think, you know, I'm, I'm tired, I'm, I'm exhausted, but I'm really happy with, um, with how we've, uh, we've done everything ourselves. I think, I think once it's all done, we'll, we will look back and we'll be like, really, really proud. Um, we just sort of just want to get in now, um, get moved in. It's been, what, beginning, we're beginning of December. 10th of December today. Um, 
we got the keys on the 2nd of September, so it's been, what, three months, just over three months, which I think we've come a long way in that time, but we're just so sort of like, yeah, come on now, we want to get in. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave you where we started, in the living room. Uh, next video will probably be decorating the bedroom, I imagine. Uh, although we're going to do quite a lot of it on a night. Uh, Holly's got a week off, so she'll actually be doing quite a lot of the uh, decorating while I'm, I'm at work. Um, yeah. And we look forward to moving in. And you're going to have to wait to see that.